Hey guys, it's Susan. I just wanted to come to you really quickly today and just remind you of a couple of things. Most of what we need to do in order to achieve the goals that we would like to achieve, we already know what to do. Mostly we know what to do. It's just a matter of doing it. Okay, let's talk about health for a little bit, um, which is kind of the baseline of everything because honestly, if you're not feeling well and you don't have your health, like everything else is just no good. In order to have your health, you're going to have to do something differently, consistently to feel good whether that's something huge, like you want to compete in a bodybuilding um, champ tournament, I don't know what they're called, or you just want to be able to go run around and play with your children or grandchildren or whatever. You're going to have to, every day, do something to further you to that goal. And if you really don't know what you need to do, then you can hire a coach, you can do learning on your own um, to figure it out, but you're going to have to have a plan. And each day, you know, whether you don't have a ton of time in a day um, to focus on your health, maybe you have five minutes that you could do, you know, five minute ab work or push ups or pull ups or whatever. Um, and maybe some days you have two hours. But as long as every day you're doing just a little bit of something, unless you're injured or sick or whatever, you know, I get it. Um, but you know what you need to be doing. It's just that we don't stay consistent. Like the new year is coming up in a couple of months. We're in November now. So, you know, December, Jan January is coming right up. And so many people in January are like, I'm hitting the gym. And you see the gyms are packed for two weeks. And then everybody disappears and they get busy and life happens. So don't be that person where you just get off track. Like, think about each decision you're making. What I'm doing, is this just some sort of instant gratification? Is it totally off base over here? Or is it something that's getting me closer to my goals? There's a lot of things that we have to do that kind of suck. Like, I go to the gym and, you know, I have to do workouts that... So, like some of it I really enjoy and some of it I don't enjoy but I know that it's getting me closer to the goals that I want to have for myself and my health and how I want to feel and how I want to look um, so I go and I do it and whether like some days it's 30 minutes some days it's two hours some days I don't even physically make it to the gym but I do something even if the something is you know what just eating healthier don't put that extra junk in your system um, it's going to help you. What if you're thinking of mind feed and you ask yourself, when's the last time I read a book? And it's been years ago. When's the last time you listened to like an educational, motivational, inspirational podcast or video? And it's been years. Maybe you have five minutes, maybe you have an hour, whatever you have in that day, every little bit's going to get you closer. I believe that you should have non-negotiables for your business, for your life, for your health, whatever, and that you should stick with those, to have the commitment and consistency to yourself for those things. And it will help everyone else around you as well, whether you're a parent, whether you are a leader, whether you you know, have customers, whatever, it will have you be a better person for them and for yourself. Um, the consistency is important and I know that we all get off track sometimes and you know things happen and don't beat yourself up over it because then we can stay stuck in that stuck energy and sometimes like I'll hit a roadblock and something where it's out of my control in that moment. So I have to be like, you know, universe, <laughs> this or something better, right? Like I know where I want to be. 
I have done all the things that I can do to get myself where I want to be, but there's some other person or thing or situation that's blocking it, then I have to just let it go. And then I keep focusing on the other things that I can control. There's a bird visiting me. So keep that in mind too. As long as you're making little steps forward and you have consistency where you're doing these things over and over again, you're going to get those results. And having some patience too, because we all know like there is no 10 minute, you know, abs or overnight success, millionaire, none of that. Like it takes time. You don't see a lot of the time, effort, energy that went before when you see someone who already is there. You might not know what they had to do to get there, but trust that they just didn't wake up one morning and have it all. Like they worked for it. And know that there were days where they didn't feel like doing it and there were days that they didn't feel well and there were days that maybe they didn't do it, but they didn't stay in that moment of beating themselves up for too long because they knew that that wasn't going to get them where they wanted to be, which is where they are now which is where they continue to be consistent and continue to put in the work to maintain or continue to grow. I hope this has been helpful a few minutes and I hope everyone's having a brilliant day and I will talk to you later.